welcome to GCF Iloilo Kids Church Online. I'm Miss Jane and I'm excited to be here. Kobe and I are going to use these balloons for decorations. Wanna help us? I heard somebody needs help. What can I do for you, Miss Jane? Kobe was carried away with the balloon. He he stopped there. I'm Frontliner, and I came here to rescue. Hello, Kobe. I'm here to rescue you. Superhero, but there is a person greater than any other superhero. Yes, that's true, Frontliner. We are going to learn more about God today from His Word. We're going to learn of His power and how great our God is. I invite you to sing with us now and do the action. Hello boys and girls, I'm so glad to be back to share to you God's Word. Before I continue, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for keeping us safe. Oh Lord, we ask for your blessing as we learn more of you from your Word. In Jesus' name, Amen. Of all the things we can study, learning about God is the very best. You may ask, how great is God? How important is He? Did He have a beginning? Will He have an end? Where did He come from? What does God need? Let's open our Bibles and see how God answers these questions from His Word. Psalm 90 verse 2, God's Word says, Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever, you had formed the earth and the world. Even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. If you have a marker, kids, you may underline the verse. God's Word tells us that God did not have a beginning. This mask I'm holding was created or sewn 
by a dressmaker. Not like God. He was not created by someone else. He was not born and does not even have a mother or a father like you and me. God is greater than all and more important than all. He is greater than any superhero you may know. God's greatness is to say that God is sovereign. Sovereign means ruler, supreme in power, the chief. He is the highest authority. The Bible tells us that God knows everything and is in all places at the same time. Since God is everywhere all the time, there is nothing we can hide from God. He knows your thoughts. He knows even the numbers of your hair. He knows how many times you blinked your eyes today and yesterday. He is here right now and can see us all. He knows what you're doing even when you think that nobody's watching. God is spirit. He does not need a house to live on and the many other things which we human beings need because God does not have a body as we do. God has no head or eyes or a hands or a trunk or feet. He does not even have flesh and bones like humans, animals, birds, fish or reptiles, which all these I mentioned need food, water, and air to live. God is also Trinity. The word Trinity means three in one. In the Bible, we read that although there is only one God, there are three persons who are equally God. All three are named God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. They are exactly the same in power, and knowledge, and wisdom. Hard to understand? Yes, to us it certainly is. God is so great that we cannot understand everything about Him, but His Word, the Bible, is true. He does not lie. The Trinity is beyond our understanding. The amazing fact about the Trinity is just one of the things that show us the greatness of God. So kids, if you ask me, when will this COVID-19 end? Honestly, I don't know. All I know is that God is sovereign. We can trust Him because He is all-powerful. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, right? Do you know what's going to happen tomorrow? But listen, boys and girls, God knows what's going to happen tomorrow. His Word tells us that we can trust Him. If you're scared, if you cry to Him, if you want to tell Him something, you can pray to Him because He can hear you and He listens to you. Again, let us read Psalm 90 verse 2. Before the mountains were brought forth or ever you had formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Guess what, Uncle Peter? 
we saw a foreigner sleeping down by the river. You should see all the stuff he has with him. I don't know how he carries it all. Yeah, he had a flashlight, a sleeping bag, a water jug, a backpack, clothes, rope. He had mm -hmm. thing I've never seen before. Mm -hmm. But I didn't see any food. Oh, John, you're always thinking about food. <laughs> you are right, John. There are some things that we really do need to live, like food. However, many people have more than they really need. Do you know that God doesn't need anything? What do you mean, Uncle Peter? God has always been and always will be. He existed before anything was created. He was there before there was any light or air or food or water. He existed before the angels. But didn't God have a beginning sometime? No, God is eternal. He was not born and had no beginning. He never gets old and will never die. You see, everything else had a beginning, like people, animals, air, light, and plants. But God is greater than we can understand. God is greater than all. The very first words in the Bible are, in the beginning, God. In fact, God was there before the beginning. But wasn't God lonely without people? No, God is very special. The Bible tells us that He is really three persons in one. We call God a Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, who are together the one great God, have existed forever. We can't begin to understand how wonderful He is. Oh, now I am confused. Hmm, you know, John, I don't even try to understand some things about God. I just believe. Those things are true because God says they are true. God is not like us. He is so much greater than anyone can ever imagine. But we can know a lot about Him just by studying His Word, the Bible. God is truly wonderful, and He wants us to know Him. We like to hear about Him too, Uncle Peter. Let's mm -hmm. go home and count our money, John. We need to save enough money to buy a Bible of our own. Kids, welcome back to our craft time. Let's check last week's Bible drill. Wow, that's amazing! Great job, kids! Because of our current situation, it is very important to wear face masks, especially when we need to go outside. You've probably seen bandana mask used primarily for those who don't have actual mask. That's because they're super easy to make and pretty efficient. Today, we will have a bandana mask making with bandana and two rubber bands or hair ties. Take the top edge of the fabric and fold it down so it reaches the center of the bandana. Do the same with the bottom half of the fabric so it also meets in the center of the bandana. Step 3. Repeat step 2 by folding the top of the fabric down to the middle and again with the bottom of the fabric up to the middle. Step 4.
Fold the right and left sides of the fabric toward the center. You'll now have a small rectangle of folded fabric. You'll be able to place a rubber band or hair tie on each side. Step 5. Take a rubber band and slip it over one end of the folded fabric, leaving just a few inches on the end. Repeat with the other rubber band on the other side of the folded fabric. Step. The side that's facing you will now be the inside of the mask. To wear, bring the mask to your mouth and put the rubber bands around your ears to hold it secure. The mask should cover both your mouth and nose. Remember kids, we need to understand that the virus is everywhere and we do not know exactly who has it. That's why we need to be protected. And we need to protect others too. And don't forget that God is our greatest protector. He is greater than anyone else. See you next time, kids. Goodbye. Boys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed today's Kid Church Online. Don't forget, stay at home because it's safe at home. Goodbye kids, see you next week!